Alright guys, so a quick little disclaimer, this isn't going to be a completely, a completely false shuffle, but this is a false shuffle for the most part. Um, so if you want a completely false shuffle, I'm sorry, you guys can click away, but this is going to work if, let's say you have um, the top stock of the deck, in this case I have the first 13 cards, let's say you need to keep 13 cards into uh, the same order as you put them into. So in this case, I went ahead and put ace through king in the spades, and I put these into um, you know, the correct order. This way I can prove to you guys that when you do this type of shuffle, um, it essentially makes it look like you're mixing up the deck, and you are to a degree, but you are actually not mixing up any of the first 13 cards, or if you want to do this with 26 cards, it's not going to mess up the order, but it makes it look like you can really casually just go ahead and shuffle up these cards and it looks like nothing is going on so again I'll show you guys one more time what that looks like you have all these cards and the order is not getting mixed up so you can do this with like 23 or sorry 13 to about like 26 cards you could do half the deck but essentially guys I'll be showing you how to do this uh, right now alright so the first thing you want to do is obviously get the deck in the order that you are going to need it in um, if you want to practice, you can do exactly what I did before, or for the performance, you can just put around, you know, 13 cards, go ahead and put them in this kind of order, this way you know if you are messing them up or not. So we have them in this order, and all you're going to have to do, it's basically just uh, a really simple um, overhand shuffle. So what you want to do is, however many cards you want to keep in the same order, that's the amount of cards you're going to um, peel off on the first take. So let's go ahead. Let's say we want to make sure we get the 13 cards, but we'll go a little bit above that just to make sure that we actually do have every bit of those cards. So we take about half the deck, peel that off in the first part of the uh, the overhand shuffle, and the second thing you want to do is you can peel off maybe like one to about three cards, but you're going to peel it off not directly on top of the deck, but just a little bit out jog. So this way you peel off. You can peel off, like I said, around two, three cards. And essentially what you're left with is a little bit of an outjogged piece. It's not that much, you don't really want to exaggerate this. And then you come back and then you can shuffle normally right back on top of the deck. And you can even cover up that uh, that outjog portion as well. All you know, or all you need to know is that right here at the last outjog portion closest to I guess your right hand, when you come over you're gonna pick up this outjog portion just like this as you come over. You're gonna push this up using your thumb and then you're going to use your uh, your middle finger over here to square up the top of the deck and it's just like getting a thumb break when you're squaring a or pushing a card into the deck essentially the same uh, the same motion you come over you square everything back up and now you have a break right where you first took off that big chunk of cards so you can continue to keep shuffling the cards down until you clear up that break and then you are left with that top stock cards again. So this is the shuffle guys. I'm going to go over it one more time just in case somebody didn't get it, but for the most of you, I'm sure you probably understood that. So anyways, thanks for watching. But if you want to learn it one more time, I'm going to do it kind of again in kind of uh, real time motion. You take off about half the deck, peel off one to two cards, leave it out jogged, continue to shuffle the deck. You can cover up that out jogged card as well. It looks really messy from the front, but in the back you're looking for this little out jogged part. You push up with your thumb, and if you want, you can really quickly just grab it and put your thumb in the middle with that crease. Instead of, you know, thumbing down multiple cards, you can take it straight from the break, cut the cards, and you are left with that top stock right here. So this is the little false shuffle. Um, like I said before, it wasn't a completely false one, but this works if you need to keep a big group of cards the same on the top of the deck. So this is the video, guys. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that if you want. And as always,